Chief Justice Benedicto Chuanuka's statue stands at the judiciary headquarters. Fifty years ago, he was killed by Idi Amin soldiers for reportedly getting into a confrontation with the president's disregard of the rule of law. And I thank you in advance. President Museveni was chief guest at his fifth Memorial Day. Although the whereabouts of his remains are still unknown, the values of what he stood for are bold, rule of law and an independent judiciary. This was almost every speaker's call right from the keynote speaker, Ni Ashikote, a Ghanaian Supreme Court judge. Indeed, Chief Justice Chiwanuka's contribution to the moral ecology of Uganda had no parallel, and his inner resolution no precedent. Judicial independence will also be guaranteed through, among other things, appointing suitable and qualified persons into judicial positions ensuring judicial officers enjoy security of tenure, willingness to respect and enforce court decisions, regardless of who is affected by the decisions. Justice Minister Nobat Mao spoke about lack of harmony among arms of government, which he said, The comedians even make jokes now. They call the legislature, legislators, they call the executive, executives, they call the judiciary, judiciary. We have to take seriously the jokes that are made at our expense because it is based on some perceptions. Uganda Law Society President Bernard Oundo informed President Museveni that security forces are top among those attacking the judiciary's independence. Your Excellency, some government institutions, street court orders, as mere white papers with blank ink. They are accorded no respect and in some cases no attention at all. Security organs like the police, intelligence agencies, and departments like State House Art Corruption Unit, Health, Mo Health Monitoring Unit, among others, must listen to the voice of the law and respect them to the dot. But President Museven is not convinced that the judiciary can be independent if, in his view, the decisions the courts make are against the people. The independence of the judiciary, independence from whom? You cannot be independent of the Ugandan people. The, the, the refusal of some groups to implement court decisions. Part of the problem why they don't implement the the court decision is actually they don't agree. There is lack of convergence. Museveni cited court decisions on eviction and bail for suspected capital offenders. You have got 5,000 people in a parish and the magistrate says, no, all of you must vacate because he has, we don't know what he has, what he has agreed with the landlord. No, the other decision is no, they can't leave. This is, what, this is what you are talking about. The president says government will bring reforms to parliament for what he called accountability in a new Uganda. The president's statement can no doubt be seen as justification for the executive's undue interference with the judiciary, a debate that has been on in Uganda for long. Edward Muhumza, NTV.